Come on, can you? Can you just block us? Perfect. Okay. It's only on the uh, tablet. Everything else is blurry. It's good, huh? Go right a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Not very good. Then start. Lower the volume on the TV. Now we're doing in which segment? Remote, live TV, and media player. Oh, all three applications. Yeah. Okay. It's on now. Yeah, it's on. You will edit later? Yeah. Okay. Hi, and welcome back to another video tutorial of the IR4000 HD by Humex. Today's video, we're going to show you the three important applications that you need to download from the iOS App Store or the Android App Store um, for you to enjoy the full benefits of the IR4000 HD, which is content sharing to other mobile and um, tablets or any other mobile devices. So, three applications you need to download. First application is uh, Humex TV Remote Control. And this will give you full access to the remote control in case you lose it or misplace it. Second one will be the TV live stream by Humex. And the third one will be the Humex media player. So we're gonna show you all three applications one by one. First we click on uh, TV remote control. As you can see, we have two simple modes, uh, two modes, one is simple and one is full. So if you click on uh, full mode, and you'll see you can do the, all the functions that you would do in a normal remote control, even it looks and feels like a remote control. So you can do channel up, you can exit, channel up, channel down, volume up, you can access the menu, you can access your favorite list, and you can even use the keyboard. And the keyboard for you to use it if you're searching something on YouTube or um, simply logging into Facebook or interacting uh, on it. So this is the remote control. It's very handy. Many of us lose remote controls or misplace it or you know always need an extra one so you don't need to spend any more money. Just basically download it and it works on multiple devices. Second application would be the TV, Humex TV live stream. So Humex live TV application is available in the App Store and once it loads what it'll allow you to do is first you can go through the tutorial you either display or don't display what you'll do is you you're watching live TV on your mobile application and in order for you to do that you have to be connected to the local area network in your home you do not need to have access to the internet but you do need a wireless connection so the PC, I mean the, the receiver needs to be connected to the router either by wire or wireless using the Humex Wi-Fi dongle, it's all purchased separately or, and the, the mobile application has to be connected to the same network. So in our case we're connected, as you can see we're watching NBC4 in live stream and we can go ahead and change the channel from the tablet without affecting the TV. So. We can change it on the same transponder if we continue to use the TV channel as well, which is on the same transponder as well. And the benefit of this is obviously the kids want to watch cartoons, the mom or dad is watching something else, so now they can have two separate viewings at the same time without having to have a second TV at home or in that same room. So you can see NBC3 is showing and now let's say the kids want to view it on the big TV, you click on the send button. So you flick it over to your TV and now you'll see it displayed on both screen, the TV in the background as well as the application. Um, again, you can change the channel from here just to show you. You can select the channel that you want, click on it. Again, we go back to NBC4. It takes a few seconds to load. And then you have it. That's one of the features. If you want to have the full content displayed on your mobile device, what you'll need to do is you'll get a message from your TV uh, saying, do you, do you want to put the CV on standby? And you do you put on standby, then your mobile device will act as uh, a full setup box receiver. You can access all the channels that you would do normally on any TV. So this is the Humex Live TV. Third and final application would be the Humex Media Player. 
What this media player does, it allows you to access content either both on your recorded hard disk drive on the IR4000 or content that's on your, on your phone. So many of us get WhatsApp messages and WhatsApp videos these days and, and many social media things. So as long as it's saved on your phone, you can actually play on the big screen. So instead of passing the, TV, the, the, the phone around to many friends to view the video over and over again, you can actually flick it once using IR4000 HD and it will show and display on the TV for everyone to view, which is a very cool feature, what I think. So you connect to the IR4000, you select the device, then you go to My Content, and you can say, okay, you either have an option from the phone or recorded. In this case, we're gonna play back recorded content in the hard disk drive. So again, now, I don't wanna interrupt the viewing on the TV. My kids are watching NBC3. I wanna watch a different show. I go to a recorded video or segment and then I play it. Same thing, kids leave the room, I flick it back to the TV, same process as a live TV, and now it goes to a drag it, put it on the big screen, and there you have it. It picks up exactly where you've left off, you have the option to start over, you have the option to, to continue viewing from where you have. And you see the same thing with maybe a one second difference uh, in relay. So these basically are the three applications. I hope you enjoy it. Do make a use of it. It's, it's, uh, it's what makes this IR4000 HD very unique as this technology has been launched first time in the region and first time by Humex. Thank you very much for watching. Let's do Eric. It's still recording. It's okay. Do one video and you can edit later or stop it and continue. Mm-hmm.